Now let's use this example to combine our constraints associated with the element equations or Ohm's law and the KVL KCL equations. Here we have a voltage source of 30 volts, we have a resistor of 100 ohms, another resistor of 200 ohms, and the third resistor of 300 ohms. And we want to use the element and connection equations to find the voltage across each of these resistors. So let's start off with the connect the element constraint, which is Ohm's law. So we have V1, V2, and V3, as well as VA. So here we have V1 is equal to 100 ohms times the current through it, I1. And the first thing you need to do is to label the currents and the polarities associated with this uh, circuit for each of the elements. So here we have I1 pointed in this direction, therefore our polarities is plus and minus going from left to right in terms of the current direction. I2 is going from top to bottom, therefore the polarity of plus is on top and the minus sign is at the bottom. And here we have I3 going from basically from left to right downward and therefore the polarity is plus on top and the minus is at the bottom. So for V1 we use the Ohm's law, our element constraints where it's I1 times 100 ohms. V2 is I2 times 200 ohms. V3 is 300 times I3 and then we have VA which is just a voltage source which is equal to 300 I mean 30 volts so that's our element equations now we'll have a KCL equation at node A shown here KCL equation for node B here and then we have loop 1 consisting of the VA and V3 so we have a KVL loop loop 1 and then loop 2 which goes through all three resistors KVL where we go around so let's do uh, the KCL at node A we have the incoming current is equal to zero which is equal to the outgoing currents which is IA plus I1 plus I3 at node B we have I1 as the incoming current and that's equal to the outgoing current I2 so I1 is equal to I2 but this is just shows that they're connected in series the 100 ohm resistor and the 200 ohm resistor and 